one more time. But actually, I wasn't hearing my voice on this side. Alright, there it is. Ha ha! Yay! I now hear myself. Here. And then I can go here. Yes. It's alive. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Um, I already said hi, but um, now joining with me is this fool. <laughs> Lost track of time. <laughs> it happens. Um, I was also going through the calendar and being like, "Wait, which Sunday is it? Am I ahead? Am I am I ahead of Sunday?" Um, and or maybe he just needs to like work harder on his piece because there's a lot of complexities that kind of tend to come with. Something like the dragon, especially the weird chaoticness that is the European dragon, because, you know, drugs were a thing. <laughs> uh, expand on that a little bit more. I am, I'm curious. <laughs> I can't imagine what kind of a medieval person could ever conceive of so many animals just shoved together and have it be the most feared thing on the planet that... Um, not just one kingdom, but many kingdoms had their knights just go off and disappear <laughs> into, like, forests for years just to find this creature that doesn't exist. So much to the point where a lot of them brought back body parts of things and they claimed that it was. So, like, there was this, ex like, the expectation was so high for <laughs> for a thing that just never was or was small enough that it could never have been a threat <laughs> anyways <laughs> there's a lot of theology that can go into the discussion of the origins of how the concept of the european dragon came about to be because like the asias they they had it down you know they were like oh yeah you mean that thing that exists in our in our tide pools and you know next to the ocean or Oh, you mean that metaphorical thing that's really long and represents our rivers and or the wind? Sure. We we could deal with that. And we also had a very we had a discussion about this a long long time ago where we were just laughing at the concept that um all the Asian artists were just laughing at the European artists for being like <laughs> uh your dragon needs wings to get around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah who was i don't know i think we also had like a conversation on to that effect of like a that maybe that it was just different different dinosaurs and stuff and like one was just like i don't know european ones were citing uh you know a pterodactyl or whatever and it was like yeah and ours fly and then the like uh, Asian ones were like, eh, uh, ours, ours are like just crocodile thing. Well, fuck it, ours fly too. It's it is <laughs> like, <laughs> like everyone's just like, eh, this is a lot of different things. But there's like, no, no, they all fly, all of them, every single one of them. Like, sure, but, why not? Yeah, it's just it. But every single time we come, we come back to this. It's always it always amazes me just con like considering the concept of how as far as the european dragon goes how much of a bar root like how much of a bar stool tail that thing is where it's just but unlike other bar stool tails where they just kind of like disappear in the drunken haze or they just kind of get laughed off and forgotten about it like three weeks later um this one persisted like but imagine, you know, so it's like, oh, man, I went out, you know, I went out hunting the other day and there was this, there was this large scaled creature and it rushed up to me with great speed and it ripped my horse's head off in one fell bite. And he 
could very well be talking about like a crocodile or something. But you know, then then a guy you know sidles up to the bar, you know, to the bar is like, a, yeah, you say that you saw such a creature. Well, I saw such a creature, except it was ten times yours and had and spit fire and lightning at me. I was like, oh, well, man, I'm glad I didn't run into yours. He's like, yeah, my horse was roasted before it ripped mine off. And then a third guy could walk up to the bar and be like, yeah, well, mine had all yours, except it also had uh, uh, horns sprouting out of the back and down its back. You know, it's just like one after another. It just keeps getting larger and larger and more elaborate until finally up this six-limbed creature that we have today that terrorizes that terrorizes towns and hoards gold and you know it all kind of comes down to the fact that but i defeated it with my sword i defeated it with my with my hatchet enchanted by this naked woman in the lake <laughs> <coughs> naked woman in the lake huh that, but wait, this one on that one, like, fuck your dragon. <laughs> there are naked women in the lake, you say? <laughs> and this is why most D and D stories start in taverns, except in those scenarios, it becomes literal and an actual adventure instead of just a made-up adventure to try to impress your drunken friends. <laughs> <laughs> so, but on that note. Um, we have moved on from the doppelgangers and we are moving into dragons. Um, so ranting aside, let's get into, let's, let's drink the Kool-Aid and get into this wonderful and also horrid creature. So the first one that we're going to do is the black dragon. And actually that's what I was trying to do off screen, um, for a first few seconds before I got into that rant was throw up. Or at least I'm doing the first one that I'm doing is the black dragon. I posed it up to even that he didn't have to start with the black dragon, but I was just gonna be sleepy and just kind of go down the list. Um, <laughs> give me one moment, and I will show y'all what the Wizards of the Coast's D and D black dragon will look like. Because of course, like every, like every standard, you know, just drag it or whatever. Like just say black dragon, you'd be like, oh, it's a basically a Charizard, but you, you know, you color it darker than red. Um, black Durkin. But. Um, Wizard of the Coast actually was very tedious in their making sure that each dragon at least looks somewhat different in some aspect. Which I always appreciate because there's always a air of like laziness that you can kind of point out when you play a video game, for example. It's like, level one! The dragon and it's just like the standard red you know european dragon and you're like oh no um where the hell did i save this thing <laughs> um but then level two is like level two the green dragon and it's literally the same sprite as the red dragon just shaded green <laughs> and you're just like oh man <laughs> So this is the black dragon. Do, 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 do. That's generally what it's supposed to look like. Um, I sat around for a good three days trying to figure out what sort of angle I wanted to take, what sort of thing I wanted to do. And I just, I, I, I went to Google and I went around and tried to find some inspiration and I found it, but it made me go in a very very different direction um <clears throat> so for those who don't know the black dragon is generally one of the i guess like mid-tier dragons it's not as it's supposed to not be as powerful as the red dragon but it's definitely more powerful 
statistics wise than the white dragon um likes to live in swamps it generally associates with acid yes <laughs> yeah. i like it i was like hoping for like it just starting with ending with the ass just <laughs> well it but, likes I mean, to make it's, its environment it's, smell it's, like ass <laughs> most like mostly swamp ass the worst of the ass Mm, swamp ass. <laughs> <laughs> from uh, Mississippi. <laughs> I'm just talking about fish. A swamp bass. <laughs> um. Okay. So where is my where is my doodad? My doodad, doodad. Gotta find my doodad here. Okay. So, hiya. So, as always, we start by opening up a blender. <clears throat> General body shape. I'm a little sad that you um, are still kind of tweaking around on yours, because I, I wanted to be like, you know what, for this one, I'm going to shut up and just have you do, like, 80% of the commentary <laughs> for mine, <laughs> and then we'll do the same thing for me for yours. Hmm. Yeah, no, I've, I struggled on mine. Uh, kind of. Yours is really bloopy right now. <laughs> like, if I, and I'm thinking of, like, Adventure Time, like, uh, this, like, lards. Yeah. But, I don't know. I think that's a, a tricky thing with dragons and so many other creatures that, like, there's a lot of kind of like lulled into the basic shape of what they are and we forget that there's so many other muscles and folds and things that are happening under there even in our own like arm and i i've complained about this in my own art that i just made a noodle arm and there's like there's no real anatomy there's no other muscles like sculpting it so i do appreciate these lumps and things I like your oxalotl <laughs> <laughs> I guess this will give me time to find the inspiration. Um, which tab is mm. that on? There it is. Black dragon. Dragon. Ram, ram. Whoa, black dragon. Hmm. I think I'm correct. I think I was right in the fact that it's Oxalotl. <laughs> Just wait. But wait, there's more. Um, I want to do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gotta, so, like, gotta give him a little. This, yeah, I was on like oxalotls a little, even though I, I don't know if you're going with that. But like, it's weird how like uh, science-wise, they think uh, it they're pretty amazing on how they can regenerate like tissues and limbs and gills and stuff um but like one of the uh it then that's like something amazing that's about uh oxalotls is it's somehow that they can just keep on regenerating stuff like nothing um and there's like the belief that it's because it's in its like um juvenile state because you know, it still has external gills and it can't really go on to land uh and because scientists are terrible sometimes especially back in the old days one of the earliest People finding out about the regenerative thing was trying to force oxalotls to grow up by cutting their gills off. Just like, just <laughs> snipping them off. And it's like, oh, it just keeps on growing them back. It just doesn't want to grow up. Like, who, who, does that work for any other animal? Do, do, do they, <laughs> does any other animal, they're like, you know what? You need to grow up. Let's just cut off a piece of you. Like, I don't, I don't know. That's interesting. I, I heard that story differently in the sense that he, he didn't, like, because he was one of those those very, like, and I'm talking about, like, 
era wise he was one of those younger like scientists so yeah that was a method of finding stuff out was just mutilating a creature but um i i seem to remember that story being that he didn't necessarily know if it needed to those gills to breathe because that the oxalotl does come out of the water you know and so far things with gills kind of generally want to stay in the water yeah but, so i remember that story being that he was cutting them off to see if it would still breathe but in, what it instead did was just grow them back and he was just like that's not anything what i was researching but that's interesting <laughs> <laughs> So he just kept doing it just to see if it would ever run out of regenerative properties is how I heard the story. But <laughs> I mean, maybe it's still Another... fucked up. Like, still, again, <laughs> it was like, you know what? This thing breathes gills. and Maybe it doesn't breathe through the gills. So let's just snip them off and just see if it uses its mouth hole or whatever. Like, it's still. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's just such. I don't know. Science sometimes just confuses the hell out of me. Uh, it's just so weird in its approach to these two things. <laughs> I'm so satisfied with the legs. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> so I, I initially had plans to do this whole animation thing where it would be more of a more of a um, subtle reveal, but by the time I got to this point, I was like, "It's you know. really hot, and it's making me really sleepy." Like I was actually kind of having trouble concentrating at this point. Um, but because I've done armature for so long, like I know the I know I can autopilot the basics, but there were some like specifics that I wanted to do that I was just wasn't able to do. And I just looked at like the problems that, that I had to try to fix. And I was just like, nah, <laughs> I'm just going to leave it. Um, so I, I ended up trying to get as I, I tried to, I tried to motivate myself, um, by, going a little like trying to get this piece a little closer to that finished state where it's like okay i all i have to do is just add keyframes and then like i could maybe like get to what i had in my head but mm -hmm. I, I couldn't keep my eyes open by the time i was done with or by the time that i get to where where i get so i was just like uh, -uh. <laughs> tyler tyler wants sleep plus i had to still edit the video which mm -hmm. by the time that i was done with this it was like almost two hour two and a half hours so it was like it wasn't even that hard of a shape to like manipulate but it was just so many like i learned a new word in doing this one also it's um ancillary <laughs> ancillary i was just doing so many an ancillary things that like you know, you look at the you look at the body of the work and you just go, man, like everything is just so simple. But like all of the all of like the not even the secondary work, but like the tertiary work that went into like tweaking little things was just like took so much time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Give him a little a little soup. I I am really frustrated with how long I spent trying to give this guy a mouth. But um cuz I was inspired by one image which I'm going to try to show, but um I don't know how to do it without showing a bunch of other like copyrighted stuff. Um so I'm just going to show it in a collage and I'm just going to be like eh, it's in the background. Um, but then I was like looking up what an axolotl looks like and, um, a lot of the, a lot of the photos were helpful, but, um, a lot of the drawings were actually better for me to like reference cause it had the, mm -hmm. it had the weird, like, um, it had the cuteness that I wanted to like juxtapose with the, 
with the black dragon. So I went with a green because in my head I'm I'm too nature oriented, so in my head it's like, alright, if it's an axolotl, it's gonna kinda try to be like and it's if it's in a swamp, it's gonna try to be a darker color, because if it retains its cave pink, it's gonna be picked out by herons, it's gonna be picked out by you know, gators, so it's gonna try to be like a black or green or you know, mm -hmm. maybe even like a dark like maroon or something. But um then I forgot that I was doing the black dragon, not the green dragon. <laughs> so I was like, alright, well I gotta change that. But that's gonna come later. <laughs> like, look, I'm still futzing with the mouth. <laughs> I hate it. I, That's hilarious. Was, that was definitely a good word for what was going on. <laughs> there were just so many little little details that if you miss it at the very beginning, trying to do any sort of editing with it afterwards becomes such a chore. And so that's just basically what you're seeing is just so much little little mistakes that just makes such a big mess <laughs> in the middle to late stages um so why did you what is your your story with this little oxalotl thing i this is like Oh, I mean, I'm you're going to show me the art later. Yeah, but. I'm still yeah, I'm still going to I'm still waiting on that. But basically that's all it was. It was just the 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 road the road map was Google type in black dragon, hit enter, scroll down maybe like 3 times saw <laughs> saw my target, like the thing that interested me the most. And then another Google search like photo 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 drawing yes <laughs> <laughs> so this is probably the silliest part of my night um just creating things that don't end up existing because i i, I searched through my library and a lot of my my resource library is monsters <laughs> so i don't have a single like peasant or like i need to find a just like a standard peasant or like some some cut and paste human that i can just like have just mm. ready ready to go and ready to pose because this is like the third time now where I've had a mo or I've had the monster as like the key focus, but it needed to like either be harassed by or it needed to be harassing some sort of like villager or something, and I just didn't have one ready. I edited it. Mm -hmm. I edited it out, but um, I did have a stormtrooper in there for like three seconds, but it was like way too. As far as juxtaposition goes, that was like way too far for my imagination. So I, I not only deleted it from um, the project, but I went into the video itself and edited that out. <laughs> <laughs> it was just so not worth having it in there. Plus, it made my, you know, hour and 30 minute video into an hour and 20 minute video. So, two hour and 20 minute video. So this is a weird this is a weird little magic trick thing to do but um because the the weeping willow image um because I actually did make the scum water transparent you can see the entirety of the willow image in the background which is not something that I really wanted to do I wanted it to be this kind of murky water that close up you can kind of see you know to the sand and the creature below it but you know the further out you go the more just scum you see so i can't have a tree just chilling out there half submerged in water right so i stuck a um i stuck a basically just a 
different wall that was as close as I could get it to the color of the rest of the transparent water and then just hit it so that you have this transparency um, all the way from the right side of the screen to a little bit up past the axolotl and then you hit that wall that cuts off all visibility from everything beyond so it just looks like it looks like just water <laughs> mm -hmm. I was unhappy with these frills so I got rid of them and just redid it now, so I'm curious, like watching it and seeing how like it's moving and going, and I can't wait to see what your like end thing is. But I think if we're talking D and D wise and like elements of the Black Dragon, like one of it is supposed to have this like gaunt skeletal looking face, whereas Oxalotls have the cutest, <laughs> pudgiest, roundest, like <laughs> unrealistic sort of like head structure that like it's. I don't know. It's interesting. It's interesting kind of seeing like where it's going to go with yeah, that, so... or how it's going to end in the last bit. Yeah, I kind of wanted to do a thing where it did have some sort of like acid representation in there. I think that's the end of the <laughs> video. Everything so you want let me to do. <laughs> Is it this one? Double check properties. Yes. So this is what the um, final image looks like. Shabam! Uh, the fuzzies get fuzzier and the armature disappears because it's armature. It doesn't actually exist. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. But the ground gets a lot more soggier, a lot wetter. Um, the willows are very, very present and I was actually very happy about that. Um, but I really wanted some scrambling fisherman or something like trying to run away from this curious little creature. So the reason why I was I was ranting a little hard earlier about the the tavern tales creation of the dragons because that's exactly what I I would imagine this scenario being where this thing comes up and it's very you know it has all the very similar features to a black dragon and it would come up. You know, these guys are, you know, oh, God, because it's this thing that's like three times this fisherman's size, right? And, like, I don't know how, if you've seen an axolotl eat, but it's just like they inhale and whatever's in front of them is gone. Um, so <laughs> I would run, too. <coughs> but um, that mouth is nothing but curiosity. It just, hey, where are you going? Um, but I would imagine that in a village, in a like in a villager-esque fisherman's panicked mindset running all the way back you know details kind of get lost in the panic when you try to recall a memory so um in my head they get back to that tavern and they go we saw you know oh my god we saw a thing it had horns it's like well it sounds like you're describing a black dragon it's like well uh it's like what did it have a gaunt face maybe uh I, I guess so. All we saw were like it's 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 black soulless eyes and it's horns that curved out and almost tried to stab John. Isn't that right, John? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it just kind of escalates <laughs> from there. But in reality, all they have is a friend. They just have a little friendly swamp friend that may or may not eat their dog if it happens to go swimming. <laughs> But, I mean, I wonder how many people say the same about alligators. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, I did, but I did want to have an element where, um, like, I was considering doing like, like, um, like more like sweat drip type stuff, but have it like have their like boat or something like half eaten away by the acid that's just like coating their it's like the axolotl's body because it's still like this acid creature. Mm -hmm. Um, but that's as far as I got. Um, <laughs> and then let me shove this to the top. I think or actually, you know what? Let me just go here. And... I need a minute to export my video because, Please. like you, maybe background and other ancillary um, uh, aspects of our drawing. 
uh, it slowed me down. Slowed me down. <laughs> it was funny. Like a Friday, I was going to do this, and I had like nothing planned for Friday. Just like go to the grocery store, and that's it. But like, oh man, was I hit by like such a extreme? I don't know. Tiredness, laziness, like. Me and my girlfriend both like really did nothing. It was disappointing because I kind of wanted. Well, I was happy to have like a whole day to like draw, and then yesterday was like busy, so I had put it into today. But ancillary qualities. Okay, so that's the that's the image that if you Google and then you do black dragon, and then that's the one that I was like that interests me more than all of the other like realistic models and gross skeletal things because i've already attempted the skull like you know the 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 d skin the d scaled skull of a black dragon i was like that was fun but you know whatever so let's go in a different direction so i went with this little guy and then it just took a couple google searches later for like axolotl and what um what other concepts that other people have done for that same creature and i was just like mm. yeah that's totally the direction that i want to go in let's do that <laughs> it's too bad i mean i don't know and i doubt that, that that they were trying to represent an axolotl with their design uh of the the one that you were inspired by but um it was too bad that it was it, that the the die wasn't like a murky water that it was swimming through instead of being like a crunchy bit mm. but you know whatever like Ooh. i'm not here to judge other people's art so much but it was like <laughs> uh, no, that was mine a, yeah it would have been a, an interesting tie over to like yours and how yours came out but like i was kind of cool i think it's interesting i think both of us tried relatively the same challenge um, for ourselves to try to think out something different and to make the environment important. And I think that slowed us both down. But kind of fun. Yeah, it... Um... So if so. you're... Um... So where, where are you at? Are you going to email your bit to me? or? I am exporting it right now and then emailing it. All right, Shavit. Um, so while we're just waiting, I'll do a quick recap. Um, we're currently going through the the D and D Monster Manual, um, just the standard one, not any of the um, extra books. We are currently in the D's in the Dragons section. Um, I decided to start with the Black Dragon. And instead of doing the super angular, super spiny, um, actual dragon, um, I decided to go with a different representation of that. And a couple Google searches later, I ended up on this little swamp, <laughs> this little swamp axolotl. Um, and and uh... I'm, which we're going to see in a bit, is I did the blue dragon. So I think it's funny that we still really stuck to going alphabetically. We're just going to not do the other of the five, like, standard chromatic dragons. Uh, <laughs> yeah. the, I don't know, what was it? Like, a green, red, and white. Which, it was funny. I was kind of, like, bouncing back and forth. Which one did I want to do? I think I always loved the blue dragon. There was something about that that was pretty interesting and like appealed to me um i don't know i feel like it was its chunkiness of its face it has like nowadays we would might talk about it be, as having a very kaiju kind of face um just very weird and angular and like huh ah. but there's like yeah, there was yeah. other apps thanks alpha <laughs> um real quick so no i'm i'm the I'm the person attempting to be a digital artist, but um, even over here is more of a traditional um, oriented artist, or is that how you would describe your your expertise? Yeah, I, 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 like uh, I, I'm kind of in that like digital painting side, uh, or uh, like 
traditional artist, if you <laughs> if you like using that term, which like I don't know, it's more of a jokey one. But where's that I'm render fine. at? <sighs> so slow. Too slow. <laughs> but on things of dragons, like a method that I took, where where I was kind of going with mine is I. Uh, I kind of bounced around a couple things, and I came up to the idea of like, you know what, I wanted to touch on that eastern side of dragons and see if I could do a good eastern kind of depiction or like body shape of the traditional um, D&D dragons, which is kind of funny. We talked about this in like a long time, or, or like in so many ways, we talked about like weird face protrusions and stuff. And the blue dragon is unique in that it has like a weird, and it's kind of like a unicorn horn in a way. Um, but like historically, if we kind of look back at that, like AD and D and stuff, I think some of that inspiration was really coming from the Southeast Asian depiction of dragons and that kind of orfish design. So this is actually what kind of like a really, I don't know, it's. It's very traditional in a non-traditional way, if you know the history of, like, dragon designs. And I think the blue dragon was originally designed off of that Southeast Asian dragon look or horn structure. Mm. Yeah, especially but, with how with how much of its face is horn. Um, I can definitely agree with that. <laughs> Sweet. So Alpha, you are you a um a D and D nerd as well? You do some dragon designs or character arts. While we wait on that, um did did I bully you into doing the blue into the into the black dragon or or, or, or what do you bully me into doing the black dragon? No. I think you uh did not talk <laughs> well at me with the at the text message, so I did, I thought I just read it as like you're doing the black dragon, like cool. Mm. But did you want to do each of the dragons? Should I do a black dragon next time? Yeah, I, I yeah, I think. Well, mm. yeah, because I kind of want to do each well, one. Well, I don't know. I think I'm gonna run out of things to do because like the red dragon has been done to death in like almost every single aspect. It's been done cute. It's been done human <laughs> it's been done um i guess that's true oh, that's cool so i guess we could just go to the chromatics then unless um because i'd like to do the silver dragon but just 3d art and characters alpha that's cool you should link your uh i don't know whatever wherever you post art i would love to see it sometime yeah, we'll and... get even socials once his once his friggin' video renders. <laughs> so slow. I don't know. I, I honestly, I don't know why it took me so long today. Oh, I have to permit that. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot about. Uh, how do I do that again? So another concept that I was thinking that I did not do. <laughs> was I was reading up on like D&D &D and stuff and thinking uh, like a long time ago of like what I uh, like um, this one module like Horde of the Dragon Queen uh, and it deals with um, uh, of like cultists and stuff uh, for a dragon trying to summon up evil dragon queen blah 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 I'm not going to go into too much detail but somebody was like pointing out that it'd be kind of a cool design to do, um, to do the the cultists not as just like a generalized dragon cultist, but if each of them actually were stylized in their fighting style and their dress and manner to the dragon of their choosing, if they were just like that deep into it. And so I kind of wanted to just do a character and like try to think of like a character that was like devoted to this idea of like blue dragons. And so uh, that, that one was, I think if I would have done that, since I think I'm with you on this uh, alpha, that like, 
uh characters is kind of where it was my happy zone <laughs> like the people and so i think i could have cranked that out quicker but eh. oh wait twitch is being a butthole no what is going on but it's funny thinking about the, the axolotl design i think it would be cool to make like a i guess a tr trident of like a uh, black dragon kind of head with like the swooping horns or stuff, or even like a, um, I think it was like a tree branch spear <laughs> is the idea, but it's like these branches of all metal um, that uh, that has like a whole bunch of like points coming out forward. So if that was coming out from the dragon's head, because it would just entangle and annoy the person that you stab with it so that your buddies can come up and stab them with something significantly uh, more focused. And for like the blue dragon, unfortunately, they're like very thunder themed. So it was like a, I don't know, spear, or I could maybe redesign like the Flambert, like uh, Spyhander, uh, into a like more of a, a sharp thundery shape. A Chris dagger. I don't know, but I think when I get some time, I might I go know. back and doodle that again. I don't know what I can do differently. It's just, um, I could try this one more time, but um, <laughs> if you want, you can just tell us the platform, what it's on, and then the username, I guess, is the easiest way if this doesn't work. <clears throat> nice. Dude, I want to see. Yeah, I think, I don't know, for some people, character is just like, it hits such a sweet spot. Like, I don't know, like, Tyler has complained about it, but he's not interested in people because people are all, like, the same shapes. Uh, but I do appreciate a good, like, animal and creature sculptor. So I like doing these with Tyler, that he does have some love for that. Okay, there but it is. I'm always my strong suit. Uh-huh. All right, Tyler, I sent you mine. Hopefully. Yes, finally. You. Okay, let's, let me do this real quick. <laughs> Sorry to everyone out there. Google. <laughs> We're usually not that hodgepodgey. Because this is generally where I get a little more, where my interest peaks a little more, because um, even actually teaches half of this stuff. <laughs> well, the half that's not so much sculpting. <laughs> It's funny yeah, link. There it watching is. yours again and like the coming up on like the side uh, of the of the shore with this like cut out thing. It feels very much like those illustra uh, like natural history illustrations. <laughs> it's very, very silly of like, here we see the black dragon. It is natural habitat. <laughs> it's Notice it's how it feeds off of the tritus and makes ass swamp. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's Dungeons and Dragons. Um... What's it called? It's Dungeons and Dragons Snap. It's like Pokemon Snap, but D and D. I play that game. That is an old Link stream elements. God, everything is so weird. Where is my downloads? There it is. Mm -hmm. it's not dead. I agree that it like. It's, I don't know. Although Alpha, I definitely have been getting. I don't know. I have a, a like a love. For those like uh, isometric, like uh, like cube designs of uh, uh, of scenes and landscapes, or when they do it of like a room, I don't know. It touches something special in me uh, that reminds me of like I guess Final Fantasy Tactics and things like that. Sorry, that's enough of my thing. It's so cool finally, scene. we get to the traditional side of stuff, or at least I assume it's a traditional side. Of stuff. Just show another thing. <laughs> <laughs> Blue dragon. Oh no, my thing's in the way. God dang it, go away. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh, Alpha, I definitely see your love of texture work. I like the things that you've done. So, you could definitely make a pretty cool. 
Um, pretty cool dragon. Nice, interesting scales. So we've immediately gone through four different poses. <laughs> Uh, poses is always a difficult thing, especially with like I don't know the like snaky bodies. Like trying to find a good one that feels has that energy is was the hard thing because snakes are very really they don't have interesting like arches in the way like of arching up because they just kind of like they flop on the ground they're heavy, um, but but like. Uh, Eastern style dragon is like the whole thing flies, and so there's just like different curvingness to it that kind of goes with it. Yeah, the the most recent representation of that that I've seen is um, Wish Dragon. And oh yeah, yeah. There's a couple flying scenes in it where they just full on just get the whole figure eight thing going. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> Which I think it's funny that oftentimes we like to depict like dragons and or like Chinese dragons as well as snakes and stuff in like so like loopy swirly. But there's like I don't know, their bones don't necessarily do that if you really look at like snakes. But if you look at eels though, those things are nasty noodle monsters that like <laughs> do like the figure eight things. It's funny. I'm like, I knew it when I was like drawing it, um, but my girlfriend pointed out as she came by and she's like, You're drawing a gremlin. I was like, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, but, I was thinking to myself that you could probably just stop drawing at this point and just be like more like clouds and haze and just have it be like this like horror creature like in the distance or something. <laughs> Nine Tails Block. Yeah, a little bit. I wanted, I wanted that like looming energy, that like oh fuck the thing is going to, or like it could have pounced, but now it's just looking at me. It's seeing, it's assessing. It's still dangerous, but uh, it's like the original version of Sauron's tower. It's just like we got to sneak past this guy. Does he see us? Oh <laughs> crap! He sees us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I don't know. I had some fun with it. Uh, I think, but I don't know. I struggled, especially because, like, like I said, I I I kind of come at these every once in a while with just like finding the shape and the pose. But then I don't think about. I didn't um, know that. Uh, I don't think about like a actual physical anatomy, and because I kind of give myself like some terrible time constraints of trying to do these in the two hours before. <laughs> Uh, before we stream um, that like I didn't have time to go back into the real and like really nail down where's the you know where does muscles go where are the bones so I think I ended up fighting it kind of a lot and then it's funny uh, Tyler hit me up just about near the end when I realized I didn't put any blue in the blue dragon <laughs> I was like ah oh, crap <laughs> But I think but I the, got its face, or I will get its face. <laughs> but the blue swatch was always there, <laughs> really, wasn't it? It was. I just, I don't know. Today was hard. I have, uh, to a degree. Um, not so much uh, at a, like, uh, a structured collegiate level, but I think... It is always a good idea when uh, to take some time to like really look at like drawings of animals to, uh, to go to the if you can go to like a museum or a zoo and just like hang out and draw. Like uh, this morning, I have like I just generally have like bad insomnia or like I don't know, mild insomnia maybe. But I woke up at like three a.m. and like I was like okay, well I guess I'll go sit downstairs and I'll look at pictures of uh, lizards and I was looking at. Uh, a lot of goannas, um, crocodiles, uh, and then that got me into like a lot of prehistoric like uh, lizards and stuff. And I was looking at those because I think the feet were kind of weird uh, and bugging me. But I, I think I went with a very heavy, uh, really, it's a very salamander kind of body with um, with more hints of like noodley structures from eels. <laughs> Uh, 
more like a river eel though because like the mm -hmm. ocean eels are more like uh um, yeah they have a more like yeah, they kind of taper off a little more but i was kind of having fun like i wish i, I probably i should have started with more blue um but i usually like to highlight with blue after i do some and in a traditional painting uh method uh it is like a i guess i've been doing a little bit of a glaze painting method where you go through and you just paint everything in their lights and darks to get the form and then you would go through with a lighter um transparent paint uh over and you would paint in the colors um but i would I'd admit like <laughs> today i'm really off I'll have our off days. I mean, heck, we've got like 23 episodes of me having an off day. <laughs> you look on yourself. But I guess we all are. But I was kind of I'm like, if I could cover up what's happening in its like butt area. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, right? like, I'm not, I don't have any, I don't have any like foot to stand on when it comes to like criticizing like like your era of art but there's something weird going on with this little pretzel thing <laughs> this whole this little pretzel loop going on like where his hind legs kind of are <laughs> it was yeah it was something i know uh, i can picture it in my head but it's not it's not quite right <gasps> an attempt was made and it can only be made, mm -hmm. and it can only be made better sometime later <laughs> I try to hide it with like a shading it a little bit darker you know, but i wanted fair, like though... in its body like it was about to pounce yeah to be fair though in like a exploration journal style or something like they wouldn't I, I i can't imagine what they would use for blue so um if you just left it like this it would be kind of it would be kind of cool thank you alpha yeah i I was kind of happy that I, I got the proportions well enough. And really, it was really looking at uh, pictures of goannas and, um, and salamanders that got it down a little bit better so that it was somewhere in between where we see with the D&D &D Western style dragons and the, um, the Chinese like Eastern style like noodle dragons. Um, <laughs> Here's like where Tyler like contacted me. I was like, "Hey, are we streaming today?" And I was like, "Ah, oh, Blue, try it. Let's." Uh. <laughs> and like, I, like I just, I just smear stuff on it for a while. Yeah, it's not. I'm sad. I should have like <laughs> should have embedded it more because now it's like interfering with the the lights and darks that I put on there. And I like I try erasing some and putting some back in uh, to just give it those like blushes of things. But uh, I can tell my technique is really off. But I'm happy. I really, I'm happy with, like, the transition of the head and, like, the front arms into the body. And then I wish I could have gotten that, like, flat or sail-like thing happening with the tail that is traditional with, like, the D&D &D, uh, blue dragon. But I almost want to try out doing more of these East D&D-style uh, dragons. Yeah, I'm always just really happy when i see drawn lightning <laughs> it's like it, it always seems like something that's very simple but then when you sit down with like three colors and a piece of paper you're just like wait how come mine doesn't look like lightning <laughs> yeah it's it's a lot of like finessing although you'll see i kind of go back in uh i, I think around here and I cheat a little bit with a, uh, a cloud paintbrush <laughs> and then a water highlight paintbrush. Gotta ask yourself, would Bob Ross do it? <laughs> that motherfucker used uh, fan brushes all the time, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> he would. Just gotta cover it up. It's a it's a it's a nice day, but it's just a cloudy day. <laughs> yeah, and I think I think it was about it. it. I think I like a, I put some highlight shadows in there. Um, and then that was a 
ออกมาด do, do you put your your Instagram on there? That's I think it should. Yeah, maybe a kind of what, uh, kind of what I'm waiting for. <laughs> sure. Um, all right. Well, I could pretty much done. plug it later. But I think like uh, the general effect. If I like, if I uh, do a quick glance at it, I like Alpha. You pointed out like um, I think I thought about my my color and shading so that it focuses us back on like that side turn of the face and like the clash of lightning in the background that's like drawing up its mouth. And so then we can ignore its weird butt. You know, it's weird. Shrunken down and then shrunken down even more because I'm looking at my OBS preview screen. Um, the the blue, the slight, my eyes catch purple. I don't know if you meant for that to be in there, if that's an optical illusion for me. But then also with like the gold in between, like it all works together and I like it a lot more than when I was looking at the larger, like the larger close-up image. It's, it's kind of like... Um, uh, there used to be these little like um, jewels that kind of looked like a little turquoise egg, but it had like these veins of gold running through it. Um, I just I really like that <laughs> color combination. I think I, guess... I know what you're talking about a little. No, I'm not much of a gem head, so <laughs> I don't know the names. <laughs> but yeah, thank you. Uh, it's I think there was a lot of potential. I I'm just mad about how much I fought my today. Especially when I had a whole day to draw, like set out, and I was like, "Yeah, we'll do this. I'll just I'll go shopping first, and then we'll sit and draw." And then like, nope. Then just found myself I on the couch. Had... Oh man, you should have seen. <laughs> you should have seen the ice demon. That was um... that was metal uh, when we were doing like the demons and devils. Although yeah, this was... one. Like, I don't know if you're a fan of Mongolian, like, metal, like, <laughs> uh, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I feel that. I would, I would love to submit to them and be like, hey, brah, like, can you do some throat singing metal song for To My Dragon? <laughs> <laughs> so, there's his dragon, and then here's what Wizards of the Coast um, produces for their um, generic design, or their... Um, base model of what a blue dragon is supposed to look like for comparison so, <laughs> it's a solid design but yeah i was trying to steal you can kind of see where that like the head uh was and then i added Lin a little bit extra frills to give it that chinese dragon like main sort of feel and then the what the and then the part that i'm always kind of embarrassed to do but um Oh, no, not that one. No, 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 today's feature. Bam. There's Evan's art and then my art. <laughs> Sadly, side by side. All right. So, um, despite the fact that I rushed you, how did you feel about this portion? <laughs> um, a lot, I, is it a little? I think, I don't know about rushed. Uh, I think I didn't give myself a good, good time. Uh, but I think I enjoyed how it came out. Uh, and I, I've talked about this before. This is a good sketch. I think this is solid and I get the energy and feel. And I, would, uh, I wouldn't be too sad to go back in it and try to like, nail down where things are. But it has, it has the feel I wanted. How about you? Yeah, um, well, as always, um, I, I tend to my imagination tends to bite off more than it can chew. So there was a lot more that I could have done. Like for instance, actually have peasant models ready, like in my, in my suitcase to kind of throw into the scene. Um, Cause I did have the armature there, but obviously the armature doesn't render out because it's not a thing. <laughs> um, but just to have some sort of like fishermen or, you know, some sort of like, you know, vacationing villagers or something, just like scrambling away from the shore, just be like, oh my god, it's this thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's always the case, is that I had this final image, but I had to kind of compromise, and then here we are. 
Because, yeah, um, I don't know if I interrupted myself earlier, but the, the original final concept was this animation where it would be these two, like, fishermen just kind of doing a thing. And then, um, like, a kind of a, like, a big splash, and it's like a big, like, like um, triceratops, art, like, hand, like, thump <laughs> or something. And then a large um, kind of, like, water explosion to just kind of like cheat my way into just having the oxalotl head just sitting there. And then the fisherman would be kind of like scrambling away. And then mm. this whole scene would just end with the oxalotl just going, meh. It'd be kind of like a little meh. And then like the little like fumes of like uh, acidic grain would come out yeah. or whatever. No, I, I feel that alpha. I think there's, uh, I was having a discussion with somebody um, not too long ago of like, what do I need to, or like, I'm like debating on what I want to practice, um, whether it's like more more realism or more like cartooning um, and like stylization. And he was like, always realism. That's the best. And I was like, no, not really. Like, sometimes it doesn't hit you in your like soft spot in your heart. <laughs> like, like. Sometimes cute things are so much more interesting. And not that you couldn't do cute realistic uh, way and do something cool, but there's like a there's a different different vibe that you get. So, what are we doing next week? Doing uh, more chromatic dragons? We jump into metallic dragons? Um I, mean, I was kind of I was kind of in the, earlier this morning. I was in the mindset of just going through the chromatic dragons, but you kind of reminded me that we were talking about just doing one representative of the chromatics and or the the chromatics, and then going into the metallics. But um, there are five, right? So that would be ten weeks <laughs> of dragons um do we feel like doing that um well i would say that my initial feel is that i'm not a dragon dude but <laughs> okay. um but i'm liking this challenge that i set for myself of doing eastern style um D, &D dragons so and i know you're more of a dragon dude. <laughs> like those are things that you kind of like. So if you want to spend time exploring there, then we can flip flop. You'll move up to blue. I'll move up to. I'll move down to black. Uh, we'll kind of do that, and we, we can see what is my version of an Eastern style black dragon look like. And I don't know. I mean, you change to whatever you want. I don't know if you're going to do something <laughs> or if you'll figure out different um, stories. Because the blue dragon, which I didn't explore too much, they're like deserts and storms uh like so what what lizard creature which i can already think of a couple um that lives in deserts uh or, or around storms could be I've already, got, I've already got an idea rummaging around my head but um it might change right. it might change over the week um so yes that is our hour sadly um you can catch more of even's art on Instagram at even star long um, if you want to even star long I guess oh, nope that's even star long okay. um, boop I don't know if the capitalization matters when searching on that engine uh, not for mine okay. but um Yes, if you want to make your own dragon, um, please post it and then send the link to, I think, even your more, your more obtainable. I don't have that. I don't have, I don't pay attention a lot to a lot of things. Um, well, I mean, if you, uh, if you, uh, uh, DM me um, or tag me in uh, tag your art onto Instagram to me, then I will definitely see it. Though that's the that's my channel. Um, but if you want to hang out and talk to Tyler and kind of see what you uh, 
you know, if you can hook up with him and send your art, maybe we'll feature it next time we talk. And we can show us your version of a blue or black dragon. Yes, in fact, I would love to feature um, others, you know, others' representation of whatever nonsense we're targeting. <laughs> um, but yes, so unfortunately, that is our hour for this week. Um, thank you for tuning in. Um, next week, we will do more dragons, um, more chromatic dragons. Um, and then if you are watching this on YouTube, be sure to catch us live on twitch.tv slash foxstar. That's F-O-X-S-T-A-R-R. -R, live on Sundays at 2 p.m. PST. Um, and I hope you tune in next week. So thank you. Bye. Bye.